With generative design AI tools, you can convert your text prompt or image into this realistic 3D model in just a few steps without actually creating any real 3D model. Now, you don't even need to know about any 3D modeling tools or software for this. In fact, in this video, I'll share with you three of the tools that I discovered recently, and you can use these tools to create 3D models using just text prompts, or you can even use seed images. So let's start with the first one. So the first one in my list is Leo. Now, this is a really great AI tool if you want to generate quite precise 3D models. Now, what I'm talking about here is CAD models and not just artistic 3D characters for game design. So let me give you an example of what I'm saying here. So let's say we want to make a simple metric M12 nut. I've already tried that, but let me use the same prompt that I used previously. So all you need to do is just add the prompt, make a simple M12 metric nut. All right, that's it. Now generate it. So after a bit of thinking, it's going to just show you this. Click, click to start. And here it will show you this description. A simple M12 metric nut with hexagonal shape, flat top, bottom surface, uh, threaded inner hole and metallic finish. Now, if you are satisfied with this, great. If not, if you want to add your own inputs, more inputs, or maybe if you want to modify it, you can do it here. But I think this description is quite good and would like to go with it. And if you have any reference image that you want to use or just a sketch, you can do it here. So you can add an image for reference, but we don't want to use it. Simply I'll click on generate and that's going to generate some samples. And here we are. As you can see, we have few iterations, whichever you like, well, you can create more iterations of that, or you can even download it. Now, downloading is currently supported for images, but it seems like there is an option of exporting it in 3D, which is not yet available. If I click it, well, here's a wait list that I need to join. But eventually, if it comes up, it's really a game changer because it looks like it's a precise tool that you can use for creating simple parts not just simple let me show you a rather complex one that you can create with this so i'll go to this leo here and uh, let's create a bicycle frame so create a bicycle frame all right now this obviously is a complex part it's not as simple as a simple m12 metric nut so i'll click on generate with the default description here and here we are so a Again, this did a really good job of creating some iterations. At least these are some great design ideas that you can use as the foundation and then you can just modify it maybe later. So if I select this once again, you can download the image right now. If you want, you can create its variations or you can export its 3D maybe sometime later. Now, this is the only generative AI 3D tool which can create CAD models that can be used for manufacturing. Other than that, I have two more suggestions, but they are more for the creative individuals and not for the engineers. So the next one is Rodin from Hyperhuman. Now here you can use text input or you can use an image. So I'll show you both. So here maybe I'll just click on text input and now you can type a prompt. It will generate an image and then using that image, it will create the 3D model. For example, here, let's just make a simple table with four legs and drawer that's it and click it so that's going to just generate a simple here image and if you're satisfied with it great if not you can generate it again i'm satisfied so i'll click here and now using this as a reference it will generate a 3d model so click on generate and now it's going to create the 3d model for you so this is obviously something that can be used for creative purposes and you can obviously use it for inspiration uh, but it's not a cad model you can obviously download its stl file right now so let me show you how that works so here we are this is 3D model well, that we have. Now it is quite rough, so let's add more details and precision here. So first you need to just confirm it and obviously it needs some credits. So every time you confirm it, it's going to consume some credits and if you want to mo make more iterations, then obviously you need credits. And uh, in this case, I'm just using this one credit to generate it. So I'll just finalize it here first. And after it is done, we can add more details here. 
So currently we used all the default settings with symmetric geometry and we did not use sharp edges or anything like that but you can obviously use sharp edges if you want and it's kind of a low poly image not image a 3d model but you can make it even better with higher resolutions so if you want you can select high poly and you can then select the format in which you want to export it and then you can download it so it will download the stl file which you can send to your 3d printer and you can just print it or if you want to use its 3d model of course you can go with obj or fbx file and here it is it is downloaded you can just open it here it is in whatever software you have okay the last one in my list is genie from luma labs ai now here you can simply use a simple prompt to generate characters and models which are exactly not CAD models but just the creative models for maybe game design and uh, for 3d printing so let's say we want to make a cat dressed as batman let's do that so a cat dressed as batman that's what we want let's create it now obviously this is not an exact CAD model or engineering model here but yeah it's uh, fun to try and these models can be downloaded in different uh, formats like you can download STL and OBJ and if you feel like the models are not refined enough then you can modify it after downloading in Blender or other software if you want so here it is let's say we want this iteration and we just want to make it better so for that I'll select it and once this is loaded you can make more modifications for example you can create more variations of this you can make this one a high resolution 3d model and you can also add topology again using this retopologize button also here is the options for the file format you can select any of these just to download it i'll maybe select stl and i'll also make it high resolution so i'll create this make high resolution just press the button it will do the magic and here is the final result so i'm not saying that this is really great but yeah it's an improvement so if you are satisfied with this great if not well you can generate just more results if you want but in this case i'll just cancel this out i'll go to this and it looks like it's just okay so I'll go to download with this STL option and now it will convert it into mesh, download it and if you want to just clean this model obviously as I mentioned earlier you can once again import it in 3D modeling softwares like maybe Infusion 360 but the best will be Blender and there you can modify it and here we have it. So that was my list of three generative AI tools that you can use to make 3D parts from text prompt or from images. Now, do you want me to make another video covering more such tools? Well, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you soon in another one. Take care.